Hello everybody, today we're going to review how to do mini golf problems using reflections and then talk a little bit about composite reflections. Okay, so here's a question. We want to bounce golf ball G off side D then side K to get a hole in one into the hole H. Well, we know when we're doing these problems, we always have to work backwards. So that means I have to reflect over side K first, then side D second. Also because we're working backwards, I know I need to start by reflecting the ending point H, and we said we're going to reflect that over K. And that's how I'm going to get H prime. So when you do this, make sure you line up your ruler really nicely. So I see this 10 mark here. It should be lined up perfectly with the side K. And then you want to see how far away this point H is from our line of reflection. And it's about 1.5, 1.6, about. So I'm going to label that H prime and always show my symbols with the right angle and tick mark. Then I'm going to use this point H prime to do my next reflection over side D. And when I reflect a prime symbol, I'm going to get a double prime. So I'm going to again line up my 10 mark with my line of reflection in the edge of my ruler with H prime. I'm going to measure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, about 7.5 is H double prime. And again, I want to include my symbols, my right angles, and tick marks. Okay, once you've got your two reflection points, I know I'm done because I'm only going to bounce off of two walls. So then this is where I start connecting back to the start. So I want to connect G to my last reflection point, which was H double prime. When you connect this, be careful. The golf ball is not really going to go through the wall. This is just the reflection. So I need to make this part dotted and this part solid because that's where the golf ball actually is traveling. And then after it hits this wall, it's going to bounce to the next reflection point H prime. After you bounce up to H prime, we're going to again locate another point on the wall K where it will bounce. into the hole for a hole in one. So last step is to bounce to H. Now we can see the path that the golf ball will be traveling. So if you did not already, make sure you always remember to draw your arrows to show the path of the golf ball. And that's always going to be starting from G going to H. Okay, now we want to look at what we just did and write some notation for the reflections. So we know we always use a lowercase r to show a reflection. And then the next letter is the line of reflection. So the first reflection we did was reflect h over the line k. So I'm going to put r sub k of h. So when I reflected h over k, I got h prime. Now I want to do the same thing, write my notation, but this time for h prime. So I'm still doing a reflection, but instead of reflecting over K, I'm reflecting over the line D. So I'm going to put a little D. And the point I was reflecting was H prime. When I did this reflection, it brought me down here to H double prime. So it equals H double prime. Now you want to look at these two notations. And do we notice anything similar between them? Well, they both have an R, that's because they're both reflections, but they also both have an H prime. And that's because H prime is the reflection of H, 
But then we also used H prime to get H double prime. So we want to think of a way that we could use both of these notations to write one big notation. And we're going to do that by using substitution. So I know that H prime is the same as this. The reflection of H over the line K. Well if I look at this notation, and instead of putting an H prime here, if I substitute this, I'm going to replace my H prime by putting this notation into here. It would look like this. This is what we call a composition of reflections or composite reflection. Basically this means a double reflection or a reflection of another reflection. And that makes sense because that's what we do here. So first, you always start on the inside parentheses, just like PEMDAS. The first thing we did was reflect the point H over the line K. And that's how we got H prime. Then I took that point, H prime, and reflected it over the line D. And that's how I ended up with H double prime. So this makes sense. Rather than writing two separate notations, we just write one composite notation. Thanks for listening.